In this video, we'll look at three open source projects that can help you automate your tasks. From chatting to playing games to anything you want. The first one is called Airtest. Currently, it has over 1k forks and nearly 7k stars. To get started with it, just go to the website and click download. After that, extract and open the Airtest exe file. Before starting with the tests, our phone has to be connected to the computer. After that, select the operation system from the drop-down. In my case, it's Android. On the top right, we can see our device and click connect. A warning message will appear asking us if we want to initialize the POCO library and we do, so click yes. Next to the drop down on the left side select the camera button to start recording. Now every time we make an action on the phone it will be recorded. In my case I'm swiping, launching the calculator app and making some actions in it. After we're done with our test click on record button again to stop it. Then let's go and click on the play button to see what our test looks like. The awesome part about this project is that you can use it on many platforms, such as Unity, iOS, Android, Cocoa Studio, and many more. The next project we're going to check is UI Automator 2. Currently it has over 1k forks and nearly 5k stars. To get started with it I'm going to use Jupyter Terminal and install it from there. Next we need to install Weditor, which we're going to use for our UI scripts. And after it's installed, we just type Weditor to open it. Then, because we're testing on Android, we need to go to the SDK directory where our adb.exe is located and open a terminal. In it, we're going to list our devices and copy the device that we're going to be automating. Back in the editor, we paste the device and click connect. Also, click on the real time button. We can see that we successfully connected to our device and the screen is shown. Now we can create our UI test. I couldn't work out the swipe, that's why I entered it by hand, but everything else I did just by using the UI on the screen. After we are done with the test, we can click on the run button and check it out. The next project that we're checking is SoloPy. Currently, it has 1k forks and 5k stars. SolPy provides us with the possibility to automate our UI, gives us also performance tools and has experimental functionality, which allows us to control multiple machines from one place. We are going to be testing just the UI part for now. To do that, it's a bit different than the others because we are going to be doing our tests through our phone. So first we need to go in the GitHub, in releases and download the APK. Keep in mind that all the links from this video will be in the description. Also, our phone needs to be connected to our PC. When we install the APK and open it, it will lead us through some steps in order to set up it. One of which asks us to go to the SDK folder where our adb.exe is located and run the following command. Then follow the other steps for granting some permissions. After we are done with the installation, we go to the record and replay. On the top right, we can click on App and select the application that we want to work on. And then we enter the name for our test and click Start. When it starts, we have Settings menu that appears over our application, which contains all the tools that we need to do our automation. After we are done, just click on Finish. Then we can see our test and when we click Play, it runs. The application also shows us a lot of information about our test, like summary, steps, logs and screenshots if there are any. These were the three projects that I wanted to show you how we can automate our UI. Usually we can do a lot more things with them, but in this video I just wanted to show you how we can do a simple automation and the setup of those projects. If you found this helpful, please leave a like and subscribe for more.